And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. And have you tried updating your iPhone to iOS 14 as of lately? I quite enjoyed a lot of the new features of iOS 14. And I think that it is a very nice update in comparison to the previous one, even though the, that one was so great. However, if you are experiencing any kind of errors or bugs, and then you might want to consider going back to iOS 13 for a little while longer, at least until these bugs get resolved. And if that's the case, I then you likely try doing so through iTunes to try and downgrade your iPhone and instead of landing back on your home screen you're completely locked out of your phone and your iPhone simply won't boot up. That is exactly what we're here to fix today so make sure to go ahead and subscribe for more content moving forward. Now let's go ahead and begin. we're going to have three methods of fixing this issue. Uh, number one, as per usual, is going to be through our Dr. Phone software. And this is going to be the easiest way of doing so because it does most of the work for you already. And just go ahead and follow these steps as we move forward. So first off, just make sure that you download uh, the Dr. Phone software from our site and you can find the link to it in the description. And once it's downloaded, I just go ahead and launch the program. And I'll make sure that your iPhone is plugged in onto your computer before we, we can continue onward with us and then click on system repair on the doctor phone software and then from here you're going to see a pop-up window and on this one you're going to want to select ios repair and then select standard mode on the next window i should confirm which ios version you're on and which iphone model you are currently using and then choose start and once it's done downloading the patch doctor phone will begin repairing your iphone and once it's finished a doctor phone will let you know and you're pretty much good to go from here as you should see your phone restarting automatically and you should be back onto your home screen and the second method is super simple and sometimes works but sometimes it doesn't and this is going to be a little forced restart of your phone which is incredibly common and it's going to vary for every iphone model on how this is going to be done however if you're using something like an iphone 11 i just go ahead and press up then down and then leave the sleep wake button press for about 10 seconds or so and then your phone should be able to restart just like that and if it restarts all the way back onto your home screen then great and if it doesn't then it means that we have a lot more to do and that is when we might want to go on to method number three. and the method number three is going to be the most intense method of restoration because i think that this should only be used as as a last resort, just considering the fact that it's going to result in the permanent deletion of all of your data. So once you're done swallowing that pill, these are the steps for getting through that one. This is going to be the method most likely that you're going to be using if, if the previous two didn't end up working out for you. So let's go ahead and begin with those. And just plug in your iPhone onto your Mac and your PC and just make sure that iTunes is running as well. I'm gonna go ahead and press the volume up, down, and then press the sleep wake button until your phone goes black. And then while you're holding down on the sleep wake button, also press and hold the volume down button after this. And after about five seconds or so, go ahead and release the sleep wake button, but just leave the volume down button pressed until you see the iTunes has detected an iPhone message in recovery mode. And then once you've seen that, you're pretty much good to go from there. As this is going to leave your phone in DFU mode, and then you can just go ahead and click on OK on iTunes and then select Restore. That's bring your iPhone back to its factory and settings, and then you're pretty much good there. And there you have it. Those have been three methods of fixing your iPhone if it gets stuck on boot loop. I would highly recommend going with the Dr. Phone route, and because it is the safest method in my opinion. And now, which method was actually your favorite? Go ahead and let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, until next time, bye-bye.